What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm going to talk about how to fix if F125 is having an issue with crashing at startup, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen, black screen, even this black screen issue that is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this app. So let me directly get into step one by one. So the first one is all about we need to verify the game file so if you have the game with the steam you can try for the verify the game file but if you're on the ea app you need to go for the repair so what i'm going to do is right now as you can see i'm having the game on the steam so we'll go over here right click and go to the properties go for install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file so this is going to take a little bit of time so what happens is this is going to cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step so that is why we're going to do this particular step over here and also if you still have the trouble you can move to the next step let this get process complete because it's going to get a lot of time so i'll move to the next step next step is all about we need to delete the hardware settings folder if that does not work, we need to rename the saved game file, which means we'll be losing all the progressions of the game. So just go over here in the file explorer. Now from here, we need to navigate to the documents, get into the folder named my games, navigate to F125. So we have a folder here named hardware settings, right click on this one, select the folder and go for the trash icon and delete it. And you have to check. Still, if you're having the trouble, just go over here, rename this particular folder. So while renaming, make sure one thing that you have to take a complete backup. You can save this as F125 old. Once you save this, you can check it. So you'll be losing all the progressions in between. So you have to check with this. Next one is all about, we need to disable the daemon tools in device manager and you need to uninstall it and you have, can reinstall if it is necessary in the future. So in order to uninstall it, just go over here. First search for the device manager, click on the device manager. And right now, from here, what we need to do is so you have to scroll down and navigate to the security and devices. And over here, you will be able to find, not over here, if you go to the storage controller, you will be able to find the daemon device somewhere else here. So if you find it under the storage controller, if you find the daemon devices here, right click on it one, go for uh, uninstall it. You have to, so I mean, you have to disable it. After it disabled, you have to just go over here and we need to uninstall it. Just search for the control panel, click on the control panel navigate to the programs go to programs and features now from here if you find the daemons tool from here just select the daemon tool right click and go for uninstall it so for me i have already uninstalled it so once the game is working fine and afterwards in the game if you wanted to install it back you can install it back in the future so you don't have to worry next one is all about we need to perform a clean installation of the graphics card for the both nvidia and the amd users so I'll be providing a link in the description that's going to take you to the AMD, sorry, to the NVIDIA. So this is actually the NVIDIA official page. Scroll down and navigate to over here. From here, you have to find the product details. Like if you're on the GeoForce, find GeoForce. If you're on the GeoForce RTX series, you have to find this. If you're on the NVIDIA G Art, uh, GeoForce RTX, find this and find Windows 11 if it is and go for find. And right now from here, what we need to do is you have to keep scrolling down over here and over here if you scroll down you're fine with it just keep scrolling down and you have to download the latest versions of the graphics card and you have to install it next one you have to go for the graphic if you're on the amd just go to the graphics find the arduino rx 5000 series go over here and submit you have to do it accordingly if you're on the windows 11 with 64-bit edition download this one and if you're on with windows 10 with 64-bit edition download this one and afterwards, installing the graphics card, you might check if the issue is still there, we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here, search for the graphics settings and you have to click on this one. So right now over here, as you can see, I have already added the F125 because I have checked each steps over here. As you can see, it is added. So let me remove it and I'll show you how to add it. First, you need to click on the browse, navigate to the installation folder. So for me, the game is installed on E. So I have to get into this Steam library, Steam apps common. Navigate to F125, keep scrolling down and we need to add the .exe. So this is the F125.exe and I have to add it. Click on the option, change this one from let Windows decide it should be changed into high performance and go for save. Once it is saved, we have to close this and we have to check. Next one, we need to roll back the graphic drivers either to 5.76.28. 
So over here in the NVIDIA for me, the I'm on the NVIDIA, so I have to lower down the graphics. So over here, as you can see, if I go for the view more option and if I expand this, I'll be getting a lot of options. So over here, if I scroll down, you can see I'm having an option called over here. If I scroll down, you can see I'll be having option here for 576.28. So this is the 576 on point, which is released on April 13, 2025. You have to download this graphics card. So this is the older versions compared to the newer one. So you can go for the older versions, try installing this and you have to check. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to go over here. If the wheels and pedals users, if you're using the wheels and pedals, if you're not using wheels and pedals, you can skip this step or else plug in the wheel at the startup screen, disconnect the USB cable from the pedal, then connect the pedals directly to the wheel base with DIN cable. Also make sure with another USB gaming devices, it is not connected to the PC in addition of the wheel base. And also apparently one thing, if you are using the wheels and pedals, for example, Thrust Masters or you can get for any other Logitech wheels might be there. If that is the case, just update the wheel and restart your PC. You can update it if you go to this particular link. So this is actually for the Thrust Masters because uh, I'm using the Thrust Masters for past five years. And for me, it is all working good for from Forza Horizon 5 till today. So just click on this one and update your firmware. That's an important one. And afterwards, you have to do a restart. And also, if you are having the pedals with RJ12 port, connect the pedals using the RJ cord, not with the USB. This is an important one. So if you are using the pedals, make sure that you are connecting it with RJ12 cord, not using the USB. USB can cause a lot of issues, so make sure one thing this. Next one, if you are using the disconnect any USB stick or dongle that is connected to the PC, disconnect additional joystick, controllers and everything should be done. And also don't forget to disable the Steam overlay if you are on the Steam, just go over here on the game. Right click and go to the properties, make sure general, make sure this is turned on and you have to check with the game. Parallelly what we need to do is you have to check with the next one. If overlay applications like Discord, Nvidia is running and all those things like Riva, Tuner, MSA, Afterburner, all these things can be removed from the background. So just go over here, search for the task manager and you have to click on this one. And right now if all these things are running over here, for example, Riva, Tuner, MSA, Afterburner, all these things are running. You just need to remove all these things and once everything is successfully removed you have to close this and you have to check that's what you have to try next one is all about we need to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so uh, you just need to go over here so just go over here and search for uh, the game that is control panel you have to check with this one click on the control panel now from here navigate to system and security windows defender firewall go to allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall Keep scrolling down, make sure the FN25 is added. So if you don't find the FN25, if you find the FN25, make sure that you put a check on both the boxes, private and public. So if you don't find the FN25, click on the change setting, go to allow another app, navigate to the browse, go to this PC, go to local list E, Steam library, Steam apps common, FN25. Now from here, you have to scroll down and select this one and we need to open and we need to add it. Once afterwards, you have to check. That's what you have to try. Moving to the next one is all about, we need to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder and we need to uncheck compatibility mode from the .exe if it is done and also disable the full screen optimization, uncheck administrator in the app. So just go over here, what we need to do is just go to the installation folder, directly navigate to this installation folder like steam library, steam apps common, get into F125. Scroll down and navigate to FN25 over here, right click and go to show more options, properties. Now from here, go to compatibility. If you put a check on this one, you have to uncheck this and you have to check. And also parallelly, if you find the disable full screen optimization, you have to uncheck this. And also you have to uncheck run this program as an administrator as well. Once all these things are successfully done, you have to close this and you have to check. Parallelly, just go over here, search for the Steam and click on open file location. And you have to go over here on the Steam once again, right click, go to sh show more options, properties, compatibility. Make sure that you uncheck this, disable full screen optimiz optimization should be unchecked. And also you have to uncheck run this program as an administrator. This is for the Steam users. For EA app users, just go over here, search like this, click on open file location. From here, you have to right click on the EA app. Now go to the show more options, properties, compatibility. Uncheck this, uncheck this, uncheck this. This is an important one. Disable full screen optimization should be unchecked. Run this program as an administrator should be unchecked. Run this program in the commentary mode, all should be unchecked. 
now we need to go for the next step next step is all about if you're using the ea app just close it and you have to repair the app and also if you're using the ea app cache run ea app as a recovery administrator and you have to repair and uninstall it so these steps are for the ea app users but right now for me i don't have the game on the ea app I'm having the game with the Steam, so I'm going to skip this. But even though the EA app users can try these steps. Next one, try installing the latest version of the G-Hub. Even this worked for many users. Afterwards, restart the G-Hub and the game and you have to check. Next one, install the Microsoft Visual C++. So keep scrolling down. Navigate to the x64, download this one and install it. And also, if you're using the x86, you have to download this and install it and you have to check. If that is not working, we have to move to the next one. Then we need to update your Windows. So just go over here, search for the settings and you have to click on this one and go to Windows Update. Just update your Windows. So after updating the Windows, you have to check. Next one is we need to increase the virtual memory that is 1.5 times. So just go over here, search for View Advanced. Click on this one. Now from your navigate to Advanced, go for Settings, Advanced, go for Change and uncheck this. Select the local disk with the game. So here I have installed on E. Go to the custom size, initial size 1.5 times total RAM. And the maximum size three times the total RAM. So just search here for the RAM. Now we need to get into this. First, type your RAM that is 16 GB multiplied with 1024 and multiplied with 1.5. That is 24576. Copy this and we have to paste it. Next one, we need to go for 16 GB multiplied with 1024 and you have to multiply it with 3, that is 49152. Copy this and you have to paste it as well. Now, once you set this up, just close everything and you have to check. Next one, you need to update your system BIOS and you have to check. After trying with this, all these things, still if you're having the trouble, you can just uninstall the game. For uninstalling, just go over here, right click, go to manage and uninstall the game. While reinstalling it back, you have to make sure one thing that you should be installing it back over here. What we need to do is you just need to go over here to this PC. If the game is installed on E, try installing it back on D or C. That's what you have to try, either C or D, that is fine. So uh, most probably you can, right now I'm having the game on E, so I have to try either with D if I'm having this space. If I don't have the space created, if also you can try installing on the local disk C as well. If you're having SSD, you can try installing it on that as well. So these are the steps when it comes to how to fix this. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more of these kind of videos. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.